is 2000 pound so we cannot exceed this 2000 pound and say this is 2001 the reason if you increase if you go now you have reached 2001 now you will be adding fuel to the aircraft so your aircraft will go beyond limit and this is a very important term which is related to the maximum zero fuel weight which is known as your structural strength and what do i mean by structural strength suppose this is this is your aircraft and let's suppose this is your front view of an aircraft and these are the wings so now on the wing tip on the wing t what happens is you have a lift on the wing right because of the knowledge we go we'll study this so we you have the lift on the wings and you have the fuselage weight which is acting downwards the fuselage weight is acting downwards and your wing lift is acting upward so what happens is your wing tip goes in the upward direction and your wing root goes in the downward. Because of this effect, your wing root goes downward and your wing tip goes upwards. So now, what happens if you go beyond maximum zero fuel weight so what happens is your structural strength of an aircraft it will exceed and your wing might get broken from the root from the wing root it might get broken because what happens is you have exceeded your maximum zero fuel weight and once you start filling in the fuel in the aircraft your fuselage your fuselage weight will increase and the lift will remain the same once you're in on uh, in airborne and your wing group might get broken that's why it is con we consider maximum zero fuel weight as very critical because you cannot exceed your maximum zero fuel weight in order to save the structural strength of the aircraft and your maximum zero fuel weight it depends upon your structural strength of the aircraft they now the piper will have a different structural strength your airbus a320 might have different structural strength your boeing 777 might have different structural strength so it depends upon how good is your structural strength is how, the more the structural strength is the more your uh, maximum zero fuel weight your aircraft can handle so this term is important and you should understand it very clearly so let's go ahead and talk about maximum zero fuel weight a bit more so now basically maximum zero fuel weight it also consists your apu fuel if it is mentioned in the aircraft flight manual basically now what is your apu apu is nothing but your alternate power unit so if it is mentioned in your aircraft flight manual that your maximum zero fuel weight in should consist of the apu fuel so if it is not mentioned in the aircraft flight manual that the, the maximum zero fuel weight is inclusive of your alternate power unit fuel then it is not there but if it if, if this maximum zero fuel weight includes your apu fuel it should be mentioned in your aircraft flight manual that is the another main thing so now here if we will talk about the aircraft uh, alternate power unit it is basically on the tail cone of the aircraft you have the apu with is used for various purposes like it starts your main engine it starts your main engine starting and also all the 
electrical supply when the main engine is not working when you're on the ground your air condition etc all this being powered by your apu so let's go further and discuss another term which is your maximum takeoff weight now let's say what is your maximum takeoff weight so your maximum takeoff weight is nothing but your weight of the aircraft which is allowed weight the maximum takeoff weight is the maximum weight of the aircraft which is allowed before just before the takeoff so basically it is restricted to a low value due to performance factor known as pltu which is your performance limited take off weight now let's understand this thing it is a very important term now what is your suppose this is the runway now in your poh the manufacturer has defined some maximum take off weight that this is the maximum weight with which you can take off the aircraft now suppose your aircraft is in right you might be having a, a rainy day so your surface or your runway can be wet you can have wet runway or it might be a very hot day so because of the hot day you will be having high density so dc high density wet runway what happens is not if your runway is wet now you cannot load your uh, aircraft up to the maximum take away because you need to consider the safe margin as well so that is the reason there is a term which is called your performance limited take off weight that is known as your pltow performance limited take off weight which is dependent upon the performance of the aircraft given on that particular day which is which depends on various things it can be your wet runway or you have the high density altitude because of a hot summer day like for example in summers so that is the reason what we do is that we take the lower value of maximum take off weight and for why for safety margin because in layman language mein ab ye aircraft hai na it's going and it will take off no isko ab मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ने सपोज हमें बोला है कि इसका मैक्सिमम टेक ऑफ वेट है 2000 पाउंड 2000 पाउंड नाउ इसको हम वी विल नॉट लोड दिस एयरक्राफ्ट अप टू 2000 पाउंड एंड देन वी विल टेक ऑफ यू कैन डू दिस इफ द कंडीशंस आर परफेक्ट एंड एवरीथिंग इज आइडियल बट देयर आर लॉट ऑफ फैक्टर्स दैट यू हैव टू टेक इन अकाउंट सो हम लोग एकदम सेफ्टी मार्जिन पे इसको लेके नहीं चलेंगे मान लो आप इसको कर रहे हैं ऊपर से बारिश होगी सरफेस आपका जो है वेट हो गया तो मे बी यू रिक्वायर अ लॉन्गर रन वे फॉर टू टेक ऑफ सो यू हैव टू कंसीडर एवरीथिंग सो वी डू डू नॉट लोड इट अप टू द मैक्सिमम सो यू टेक परफॉर्मेंस लिमिटेड टेक ऑफ वे एंड यूज द लोअर वैल्यू फॉर दैट लोअर वैल्यू फॉर दैट सो दीज आर बेसिकली ऑल द वेट डेफिनेशंस दैट वी हैव टॉक अबाउट सो जस्ट लेट्स व्हाट आई विल डू इज i'll quickly write a summary here of what we have started today so what we have started is the basic empty weight of an aircraft which is also known as the tail weight this is the tail weight of the aircraft right so this consists of your aircraft weight plus your usable Fuel plus your unusable fuel plus your O2 cylinder plus your fire extinguisher plus your pyro techniques. This is also known as your tail weight. The second definition that we started 
was your drawing operating weight, which is nothing but your basic empty weight and your crew, your crew baggage, plus your portable water tank, plus your lab chemicals, plus your food and beverage. Then we studied about the zero fuel weight. Zero fuel weight is nothing but your dry operating weight plus may payload. Okay, now let's talk about what payload is. Payload is nothing but your payload is nothing but your passenger and cargo. Okay, then we studied the zero fuel weight is nothing but your dry operating weight plus payload but our dry operating weight is just now we have started about the dry operating weight is the zero fuel weight is nothing but your dry operating weight and the payload right and the zero fuel weight now let's talk about what is your uh, the, sorry, it's not the zero fuel weight. Now we'll talk about the a uh, takeoff weight. Yeah, takeoff weight is nothing but your zero fuel weight plus the fuel on board. But I know that my zero fuel weight is nothing but my dry operating weight plus payload plus fuel on board. So your takeoff weight is dry operating weight plus fuel on board plus payload the dry operating weight and the fuel on board is known as your operating weight and fuel on board and payload together are known as a useful load so these are all the definitions so in this video um, I would have gone through all the definitions. If you have any doubt or query, please comment on down below and let me know whatever the doubts you have. I would be more than happy to clear it. And in the next video, what I'll do is we will go through the numericals which are related and the remaining of the payload chapter. Thank you for watching the video. Stay blessed.